Sneaker Addicts, we got a show for you today. I have a guest, Basil Lewis, who um, claims that he was responsible or somewhat responsible for the design, the inspiration to the Nike Revolution sneaker. We got him here in the building. Am I saying this correct? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so... Tell me about the whole situation. You're 18 years old, correct? Right. How do you get you you make this drawing? Can you show the drawing real quickly? This was the original. Original drawing right there. How how did you get this whole situation where you drew this out and you got that to Nike right there? I was you know, it's crazy. I was a fan of Nike and I mm -hmm. and I played ball. Yeah. So I was a rent kid coordinator, like I was saying. And, you know, 18, I don't know how I got that position. But I, here I get my friends, jobs, you know, in the summer before mm -hmm. I was going off to college. And so one day everybody was gone. I had nothing to do. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take this Air Force One and I'm going to flip it. And, and I'm going to see, see if they like it. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, what am I going to call it? You know, the night 2001. Mm -hmm. So... I went to a sporting goods store. You know, I walked down there and I asked the dude for the address. He said, for what? I said, I got this idea on said Nike. He's like, good luck. They slowed getting back. So he was like, well, if you hear anything, let me know. Cool. I sent it off. And two weeks, I get a letter. They enthused, excited. They was taken uh, the whole nine yards. So I'm like, I'm hyped. I was like, oh, snap. And he's like, so I went back to him. I said, man, he wrote me back. He said, you got to be kidding me. I said, two weeks. He said, they must have really liked it. Yes. Year later, I checked back. Thank you, Basil. Uh, we got we got your ideas on file. We're taking. Once again, thank you. Uh, good luck in, you know, in college and basketball and this and that. And, um, I, I, you know, I'm just hyped, like, oh, yeah. you know, I'm young, like, oh, snap. And, you know, so 87 come, I choose to go to Merle Eastern Shore for basketball. And me and some of my teammates, we're the mall Salisbury, Maryland. And we see the Air, Air Revolutions. And I'm like, ooh, them is hot. Oh, shit, we're going to be, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be rocking them next year. Yeah, yeah. And I kicked in, like, man, I swear, it had to be two years. I'm like, I'm looking like, yo. That's my design. It's like, come on, man, cut it out. No, no, I said, seriously. And I'm so overwhelmed, like, they didn't even change it that much. Mm -hmm. it, I, I call, it took me a minute, because, you know. Hold, hold the design I, up a little bit so that people can see while you're talking. Hold, hold, the, hold the picture up while you talk. Yeah. You see this right here? Yeah. You see it? Okay. That's what gave them the idea for the visible air bubble. On the now, basketball shoe, yep. You see this right here? The name Nike on it, right? On the strap. Mm-hmm. None of these shoes had that. Now, I'm going to give you a clear picture because I redid it. There you go. Yeah. None of these shoes had the strap. I took the Air Force One and flipped it to another whole nother level. Mm-hmm. Right? So, if you take... Where's the one? Right here, with Chuck Person guy. See Chuck's right here. Mm -hmm. The tip. That's the same thing. If you look at this, right there in the front. Mm. See, so what they did was they took. You see this right here when I drew it. Let's see right there. Right. So then you come in with this. Two years later, they took and added that strap, so they created this right here. And what they did is they took that strap up top and they put the name Nike on it. So they yeah. raised this down the bottom, uh, this piece up here at the top right there. And then they took that part right there where I did and say, oh, okay, we, he's on to something. 
Mm-hmm. The same we'll put the air so unit from the Air Max on there. Right. So now if you mm-hmm. take this in the back right there, I'm going across the like, It's crazy. No problem. Okay. Right there in the back. See that tip right there? Yep. Check this out. That's in the back where they raised it. Yeah, the heel counter area. Like, the heel counter, yeah. right. So when I, I came up, I was breaking down like it was a softer type shoe. And the, the two straps, because I was playing ball, you know, twisting my ankle. Let's say, you know, guys, it will help them brace their ankles, right? So the sole was supposed to be like an everlasting look concept. Mm-hmm. We can do something different with the sole. Now, I'm 18 and, and I'm processing all this going yeah, on, right? Yeah, well, when you're 18, you're creative. Your imagination's running wild, too, you know? So yeah, so they... And what's crazy is not right once, but twice. You know what I'm saying? And so by the time that's when I say a few later, I end up getting a, a patent attorney who was, you know, saying building up a case against him and so forth. Mm-hmm. And um, he flipped the script on me. So that's another story with the attorney's thing. So I finally got an attorney representing me now. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. it was cool. And that's a. <laughs> Man, when I say black ball, what's crazy is, you know, that the only uh, paper that did a story on me was the Kentucky Post. And the Kentucky Post had me front page, right? So in the interview on that Kentucky Post, you can't probably see it, right? Let's see. What's the one right here? Nike. Nike admits. See if no see if it's real close right there. They admit that they did not sign a confidential or waiver with me. Admit that they made you know they made a mistake. So when Shelly Shelly Whitehead, this is the article right here. I see on page. There's the back right there where. The lawyer Staller was representing me. He switched the game up on me. And uh, he was like, well, we're going to basically continuously fee. You don't get paid till they get paid. So I learned that when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, he don't call me, David Staller, and say, well, or come to the office, let's sit down and talk. Nike don't want to negotiate. Couple years later, in that article, that's a lie. I got Nike myself willing to, you know what I'm saying, to settle between 93 and September in 1994. But they said I asked for a large sum of money. But dude, they couldn't pay it till we talked about. But have your attorney contact if we, re- re- you know, misrepresented anything. Yeah. I still got the letter. So I can say, that they weren't willing, but yet me by myself got them to write me those those notices. For four months, they thought about it. And if I got an attorney at that time, who never, none of them wanted to represent the case, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't ask the attorney to still tell me, can't help you. Well, I got this. <laughs> Sorry. Dang. Mm. In the story. Or they mm-hmm. tried to just discredit you. Man, I got paper, proof, and evidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop it. So, you, you, you get a whole lot of that. We ain't so much about the money. But, you know, you meeting, and all of a sudden, you get a text. Back then, it was a call or a letter. Uh, can't do it. Why? You know what I'm saying? So, some myth, the mythical way with baffling attorneys is how was you getting them to write you without an attorney? Yeah, you would if you weren't responsible for nothing. Why that would maybe, are you trying to say it was maybe like guilt or something? That's why they were kind of talking to you, maybe direct instead of all that right. like lawyer lawyer stuff. Yeah, like what what do we do? Because here's here's, here's the whole thing. 
And he, he young cats sneakers turned me on to this. They was giving mm-hmm. me history about Nike. I was like, oh yeah, okay, okay, let's okay. What was the first shoe? Well, um, it was the Air Force One. No, it was the seventy three Blazer. And then there came eighty one Legend, which is the mother father of the Air Force One. Mm-hmm. Then came the Jordans eighty four. So Tinker Hatfield, he comes in eighty one. Jordan's eighty four. I'm in a mix in eighty five, eighty six. Nike had no signature name on none of the straps until the two thousand one concept. The drawing, Man, you're saying? The drawing. Let me tell you, sneaker mm-hmm. is out there. See that right there? That's a throwback. They sent me in eighty six. Now, if you get this, this is authentic. You know what I'm saying? There's some stuff in there. See the names on the straps? Those are the, this, this catalog is spring of 86. And when, when did you submit your drawing? Your sketches? 80, uh, 85. 85. Yeah, okay. 85. And, and uh, we was corresponding 85 and uh, 86. So um, I see my guy Ryan in here. Shout out, thank you, Ryan, for being a member. He says, um, is there proof that you had the idea and drew the picture before Hatfield, Tinker Hatfield started doing it? Do you have actual proof of this? Yeah, I got eighty I got letters confirming from this concept. See, and that are a, dated. That are dated, dated before it's dated, right. It's before dated. the release. Of right. when they released 97, 98, correct? No, 80, 87, 88. I mean, 80, 80, 87, 88. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. So it's two years later. The mm-hmm. Jordan 3, which is what I said, the Jordan, should have been Jordan Revolution, they yeah. kept Michael there. It's based off a low cut version of Air Revolution. Yeah, they were going to name it. Uh, they were going to name the Air Jordan 3, the Air Jordan Revolution. There was, there was talks of that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, which. I played a part of Michael, basically, the same, still being there with the, with the company, right? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. If if all this was not valid, they would have been said something. Just like they're going at the Lil Nas X. Yeah. Come out to Basil Lewis. I've mm-hmm. been, how long I've been, how many shows I've done? I'm on social media. I tell them time. We can go in front of un, uh, Undisputed. ESPN, wherever you want, and let, let's bring it. Now, these yeah. are just the drawings. This ain't, we ain't talking about the letters. So do you have a letter that you could show that's dated of them mentioning your, your design um, before 86, 87? Right there. there. Bang. There's 86. Hmm. November, so it's top of the year. 1986. June of 1985. Now check this out. Okay, well that what what's that one from June 95? That's the original when the shoe was sent. That's the now one this, he sent back in like two the, weeks. This was the respond letter from you look, submitting your drawing? Right. It was uh Okay. Here's Nike's bunch call right up there at the top. All of them are certified stamp. Mm. Okay. Here's the thing. Hatfield, not even 81, the year when I sent this and that concept, in the bio, you read for yourself, he became in 1985 the uh, exclusive designer for the for Nike sneakers in 1985. So you were keeping your receipts early, brother. You're smart. You kept all of that. But, you know, you get excited, too, when you're young and you get notices from, like, letters from Nike, too. So... You're almost keeping it like a trophy when you're young at first. Well, right? the, 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 yeah, the, the, the two that I got, right? Then we talk mm-hmm. about 85, 86. The shoes don't come out to 87, 88. Yes. Air Max. The, the, end, right? the end of 80, 87, beginning of 88. Right. First Air Max came out in 87, 316, 87. Birth of the Air Max, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, people were celebrating that. And then yeah. the, the basketball version comes out, you know. That's the 86 catalog. If you go get this, this came straight from Beaver to Oregon. Mm-hmm. Show me in there where the visible air bubbles in there in 1986. 
Mm. No word. No word. We can go through this whole book. If anybody got this book, they good. So, I mean, you know, so that my thing is like this. It's, you know, it be, man, I had this all the time. Faith, why didn't he just bring you in? You know, you want to take all the credit. Now, yeah. how do he pick the technology around it? You want to take all the credit? It's almost like you just wish you even had just the opportunity to work there and be creative, right? Like, why did they not give you, let you let you shoot the ball a couple of times and you know see what else you could right. cook up, right? Now, 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 like somebody asked, it's letters of proof. You can't be nowhere. You hear people talking about. I I designed some for Nike too, and they took my idea. I said, you still got your letters? Or anything? Nah, I ain't got nothing. I couldn't be on here. No. No, if you don't have the paperwork, then there's no reason to even talk. Um, and, and, get, pe yeah. and people in the chat, talk to me. How do you um do you believe what, what this what this man is saying, Basil? How do you guys feel about what he's saying? So far, I'm seeing nothing but positivity. Um, if you have I ain't any right, hey, look, here, here's my thing. Know. I ain't right myself, right? Yeah. What if I would have never said that design is? What would the what would the legend be like now with Nike sneakers if I was sitting there? Yeah, you don't say, know. It saved Tinker Hatfield. Jordan probably would have been with Adidas. I'm just saying. Like, what if 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 he had did that, that shoe would have been out in 85 or 86. Since he became head of this exclusive. Mm -hmm. Not 1987, two years later, that they wrote me in, in 85 and 86. Mm -hmm. Admitting that my stuff and in the 93 article. That they did not sign a, a waiver with me. Stupid. That's first of wild. all, first of all, if I'm a company like that, and this dude is seeing a few man, that sneaker I did, this concept did. How many sneakers was actually touching that? And a couple what Reeboks? Nike didn't even have nothing like that. Yeah, I flipped their shoe on a whole nother level. You know, this kid. Oh, this kid is onto something. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna rob him. Yeah, you know, we're gonna I mean, you know, right if, if that's what they did, they they did rob you. I mean, if that's what they did, you know, yeah, they. you sent the artwork. I mean, the, the shoe, the drawing. Show the drawing again. You, we got to keep showing that these drawing, are, dude. These are letters from Nike. Right? Oh from my Nike. God. Come yeah. on. Yeah, keep showing that drawing so people can because people are coming in. This is a live broadcast. Um, so people got to keep seeing this as we're going. This in. is, so, you know, like I said, a little more updated. Mm -hmm. And you can see, man, where how much did you change? You know, yeah, I mean, you like, got to I mean, listen. Everyone got to keep in mind that this drawing was done. When did you do this? Eighty five. Eighty five. This changed mm -hmm. this. This changed the future of the mm -hmm. shoe game. When so you're this, walking in your Air yeah. Max, they're going back to Air Revolution. You're joining three, four, and five with the visible whim of uh, uh, uh visible you, yeah, on the yeah. side. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the guy who helped, who helped contribute to that. Yeah. So, you know, thank God I got the attorneys now, you know what I'm saying, to work things at social media. And, and, and real, it's a couple shows I did. Real sneaker heads like you. You know, a lot of them like, well, I don't know, man. I got Nike shoes. Uh, They give me free sneaks. Yeah. Who gives a damn? You no, know what I'm saying? I don't. Like, I don't because they're head. using me. Don't get they'll send me shoes for a, for a year and then they don't care about me no more. The people yeah. care about me. The people, the, we, they're the ones that are that are pay that, that are watching the views, helping me monetize. I can I can monetize myself. I get donations. Nike. You know, I don't yeah. I don't need that shit. I don't need Nike. You man, know? check this out though. This was crazy. Like he was asking the question about yeah, whatever. You see that right there. That's a letter from Nike. Two of them. Yeah. Right? Do I just keep going? Did that say just do it on there? No, it doesn't. Well, hold on. Let me make it big. That's crazy. Did it say just yes, do it on there? Yes, there's a stamp that says just do it. That's Not unbelievable. just pay it, but just do it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Just do it. That's unbelievable. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. This is, this is certified... Certified? Is that a certified stamp? I, you know, hey, I, 
I ain't got a lot. No. Oh, oh they sent me this too. They told me my my shoe looked more like a, a, a down your ski boot, right? But in this breakdown, they described this this shoe of the Air Revolution with an interlined ski boot. So when Peter Anfield and Jordan go skiing, Anfield met it, he got an idea. I didn't know Michael went skiing. Mm -hmm. And looked at the ski boots and came up with it's the same concept, you idiot. <laughs> Stupid. Yes, yeah, hit the thumbs up button and share this video, guys. Let's get this out there. Um, and tell the, tell everyone your, your um, platform so people can check you out. I'd like for you to plug your stuff in the tour, like, you know, toward the middle of our interview. Where, where can people find you? I'm on uh, Twitter. What's your uh, Twitter? It goes Basil Dink Lewis with, with, with at Basil067 okay. on Twitter. Uh, Instagram is Basil Lewis. And uh, Facebook, Basil Lewis. They got a couple on, but the one with the profiles, the one with the sunglasses on. Okay. Uh, that's the one I'd be on the most. This way, you know, maybe someone wants to contact you. Maybe a lawyer even is watching this that feels they can help you out. You oh, I got a federal, I got a federal uh, attorney as we speak. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so you're set then. Right, see, 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 here's the thing, man. Like, people, they be, like, I'm like, you get an attorney. I, I didn't ever say I ain't no attorney. Mm -hmm. I never asked for attorney. I just the story needs to be out there. Yeah. Until until we get this thing straight up with due process. Mm -hmm. Until then, the people need to know the truth. Like you know, oh, y'all a powerful company, but who helped y'all out? Mm -hmm. I played a major part in 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 in, in that, that 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 growth. Yes. Um, you know if, if, so. if everything, if they literally did take that from you, um, then you definitely did. I mean, <laughs> call up there, call up Oregon, call yeah. them and ask, do they know about Basil Lewis? Jesus. <laughs> he called people. up there. There's some people, if they, say, they went up there, the one sneaker show went on, they went and said, Bays, they do. We're, look, we're looking into it. Yeah, y'all look into it because now, People are talking now like, who's the best kept secret? I ain't the best kept secret no more. So the real question is, is um, what's the deal with Tinker, right? With this whole thing. Because Tinker is getting the credit for the shoe, correct? Right. And what else has Tinker done? Literally, as he came in 85, other than he's, he had a good imagination of his ability to not take that away, right? Mm -hmm. But you took it from a young guy's perspective. Instead of saying, right. we, need, we need to get him in here. If he's well, doing it's not this, easy to get to that, man. <laughs> but, you know, Tinker, if you're watching this, I would love for you to contact me. You, you contact me here. The information's in the description box if you'd like to be a guest. Um, if anyone would like to be a guest and talk about this, if someone from Nike would like to address this, please do so. Um, I'm just here as a platform to give people an opportunity to share their stories. And um, I'm, I'm completely on unbiased that. on this story. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm completely I'm unbiased. Waiting on, I'm waiting on that. I've been waiting a long time. Yeah. When 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 you ready to sit down? I mean, when you should try to contact um, Tinker through social. I heard that. I heard, you know what? I heard that. If you was Tinker <laughs> and you robbed a bank, but you didn't rob that bank by yourself. Or you'll tell somebody, hey, uh, I, I robbed that, I robbed that bank. Yeah. Now you don't keep going because now your image and reputation will be tarnished. Yes. Be tarnished. Because my thing's like this. Nike came after Lil Nas X company for misrepresenting them, right? But you ain't came after Basil Lewis. I've been waiting, I come all the time. Phil Knight, whoever. Mark, Mark, let's sit down. Come mm -hmm. on, let's 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 go, Tinker. I call Tink Tink. All, hey, all the time, like, hey, come on, let's let's. We got a super. My thing. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, boss. Talk. Yeah, I'll say that. Here's the thing: if you real talking about Black Lives Matter, uh, Black community, or whatever the case may be, and you know what's been done, you know I'm out there, been on social media shows, correspond all nine yards. Why don't you just do the right thing and just say, hey, look, man, we're going to end this. 
get with my attorney and say, hey, and let the sneaker world say, hey, we we didn't do right by this guy. You know what I'm saying? Let's make amends, whatever the case may be. Because if I was wrong, you think they ain't going to defend themselves? Slander, cease, sis, or something? Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they haven't they, sent you no notices of um, slander yeah. or none of the sort. None. And I'm waiting. Please send it. Please send it. We got a question from Clint Stewart. Thank you for the super chat. He says, um, why Nike just don't pay him? Nike is a billion-dollar corporation. I hear it all the time. Yeah. I hear it. Thank you, you Clint, for that, brother. I appreciate you. I do, too, brother. I appreciate that. You know, the, th say the thing what? is, is that how could they go back and do that now after all of this time? I know it's the right thing to do, but who does the right thing when it comes to business most of the time? You know, right, you know, there's an old saying. Yeah, sometimes you gotta you you gotta crack a couple of eggs to um, make an omelet. You know what I mean? It's an old school saying. Um, you know, some some you're gonna throw in the trash. You know, some some some. You know, you may you may need it, but you know, you may not use the whole thing. You know, this is a waste right here. We throw it in the garbage. It's these corporations, and I'm not saying that that's exactly what Nike did to you. But a lot of these corporations take and take and take and take, you know. They I'm take the ideas all the time. And I'm the most dangerous take to say to a, a company that's now a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. I ain't, you know, saying like, you just don't get on and say stuff. You got to come with proof. Yeah. Or, you look like a, or you look like an idiot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't know if this is you putting the same category for us, retribution, right? Bill Cosby situation. All these women come out, right? With Bill Cosby in jail. All them years later, people catch him and say, okay, we want to do justice. And, and this situation is, okay, it's out there. You know it. Be about justice. Since you're talking about let's just do it and you helping all these communities and so forth and this and that. And you're fraudulent. Yeah, but you know, pay, paying for the i paying you now would basically co-sign that they've stole the idea. You know, that's that's basically probably they, why they, they would, now, 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 in '93, when I wrote myself, they thought about it for four months in a January 1994 letter, which I have right here. Without an attorney, say, "Well, I asked for too much money. I didn't even ask for that much." But do you mind? Do you they, mind saying how much you you um asked for, or do you don't want to speak about that? Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, that's know. fine. That's fine. I respect yeah. that. I was just they, curious. Put it this way, them. they could have went in their pocket and did like this. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it wasn't outrageous uh -huh. because I, I was young. They said, "Well, you asked for large sum of money. Of course, we can't pay it, dude. We discuss mis, you mm -hmm. know, not misrepresent. But at the same time, get your lawyer if there's anything that we miscontact an attorney." Yeah, and at that time, the attorneys was like it was a black ball thing, which is I'm glad it didn't happen because I'd low ball myself. Considered what they're doing now, you come out with the Air Revolution Sky High, the Jordans, some of the Jordans. So I, I took big loss. So sometimes things it, it work out in your favor. You know, like like you said, man. Come on, man. You, yeah, you, you got to take this to the courts, and that number <laughs> that number going to be a, a lot bigger now. <laughs> If, if it gets to the court system. You know? It's federal. It's federal. Yeah. That's what's mm -hmm. crazy. The case is federal. And wow. uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you got me for underage. Big advantage. All right. Court. Well, admit, you were 18. You were 18, didn't you say? Yeah. yeah. Admitting that, that, that it was my idea. Mm -hmm. Three. Corresponding with me without an attorney the whole time. So, you know what I'm saying? That's Until, wild. Right. And, and oh, the discrimination yeah. plan part, I said that nobody with all this stuff that I got would not take on the story. So you 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 can't just push everybody away because who you are. The game changed now with social media. People Yeah, yeah, you got know platforms stuff. that are gonna have you speak. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you got platforms. And you know what I'm saying? And and the thing about it is you're a sneaker here, you know. You need to know the truth about what happened. Mm -hmm. We're talking about legendary effect that somebody played a part of. They're like, oh, my God, Nike. Yeah. If Basil Lewis would have sent in the concept, where would it be right now?
would Adidas be the major major player? Would it wouldn't be just Kanye? Would Michael Jordan be with Adidas? Mm -hmm. Who else would be with Adidas? LeBron James or whoever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And there's a whole lot of quietness out there since you know brother right here been talking and and, and ready to back it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so all the other legal stuff is that's being worked on all that. But well, that's good to hear that that legal stuff's being worked on. You know. Yeah. Because I would assume if I like me, if I was in your shoes, because I like to kind of put myself in the other person's shoes. I would just want my credit for what I accomplished in life. That's a that's historic. If it if is. if what you're saying, and I'm not saying I don't I, that I don't believe you. I'm just I got to stay unbiased as, as I've got to I got to tell the story. Let you tell the story, right? This is your story. Right. So if I was you and I did this allegedly, if I drew this, it's historic. You're part of history. And you just, I, w I would really just want my, 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 my props. I want to be put, put in there as part of the history of footwear. You know, right. the first basketball shoe with a visible air unit. That's historic, bro. When you, you can, know? yeah, especially when you contribute something. Yeah. And here's the thing, and, 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 and like you said, man, being biased, whether it's somebody got proof or nothing, like you know, let me. Shelly Whitehead at the Kentucky Post, when they got mm -hmm. that interview from Nike and admitting that they uh, didn't sign a waiver with me, she wanted to do a follow-up. Guess what they say? No comment. You're scared of. You're mm -hmm. a million-dollar company. What you scared of? Mm-hmm. You what, you going to lose it? Lose your people? Yeah. yeah. It don't work like that. If anything, when you do the right thing and admit it, People look at that and say, you know what? That company did wrong, but they made up. They made up for it. Yeah. This guy here, hey man, come on in here. This guy here helped us to where we at right now. He played a part of this. To be tinker on one side, feel somewhere, and and hell, you bring Michael Jordan, you want to too. We all sit that. <laughs> Listen, it could have been as simple as one person got their hands on that drawing and passed it on to someone, and then that's it. You know, right. you know for, for all you know, most of the company has no clue about this. This could have been as simple as one person opened it, slid it to a designer, and said, check this out right here. If I didn't do nothing with the letters, yeah, I don't know how, how I didn't even get this stuff. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I didn't there's even more I ain't talking about the FedEx uh, certified you know piece that I got. This, this, this is crazy, man. It is crazy. These are all, hold on, man. Not only just letters, these are front and back. Look at this dude. These are all letters. Nike stamp. All of them got that. That's the, the number. Yeah. So all those letters probably went to Warriors, too, you know, before yeah. sending to you. Right. That's why they're notarized, no? I don't, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it was. They like me. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. They just didn't want to work with me. If that makes sense. They want to work without me. Up hiring some other young guys over at Nike, around your way over at Nike or something? Was that you that said something like that? Yeah. They went back in to my old same town, the high school went to, and there are uh, two white kids. And, you know, I was like, congratulations. They had nothing to do with it. How you go back to where I'm from, the school that I put where I'm from, and go back as a kid? But you know, How did that happen, though? How did they just go I, back to your school like that? And get I don't know. Kids? And they, they younger kids, you know what I'm saying, like millennials, you know what I'm saying, they're the younger. But what's you crazy they, is, Imagine if they're the ones that took that that took the credit for your shit. That's why they were thinking to come get you, but they got those kids instead. Years years later. Oh, years later. Okay. Enjoy, yeah, years later. <laughs> now I'm gonna be biased too. Is it cause I was if I was white, would they have took me in? Who knows, man? Especially during I don't know. The, especially during those times too, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and here it is. This I mean, I'm guy. not one to say that's why, but I'm saying you never know, you know? 
You just yeah, never you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, it's okay to hire athletes to make sell your product to help you sell the product. Mm -hmm. But a guy who played a pivotal point in history with that, oh, but you, you don't want to do that. That's just too much. Now, the documentary, my mom said, I'm not going to say it's, you know, it's racism discrimination. I went through it. I didn't say nothing. I went through it with the, the one ten the lawyers at the time, T V mm. shows, the whole nine yards. When they say with Kaepernick was black ball, I'm like, Well, welcome to the club. And like I said, I was still doing my thing, it was corresponding all the way up to two thousand twelve. Everybody corresponding with me is no longer in that position. The two guys uh, assistant corporate counsel, one was uh, Thomas Nybergal, right? The other one was Swiss Dolph was Thomas Horgan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I told Thomas Horgan, I said, well, you you knew this. Let me explain to you what's going on since you're taking Nybergal's spot. Then later on, uh, Jennifer Yakuyama, 2012, when I contacted him, and she was like, give me a call. Of course, they feel like whatever. But if it's something we missed, that's their favorite line, we missed. You know, damn well what you miss. But act like you're talking about you missed. You see what's going on, right? Man, they said, well, she's busy. Well, she wants the number to call you back. Okay, cool. I wait about a week, no a week. I call back. She's no longer in that position. Mm. Another dude took her spot. Damn. I said, man, I just talked to her. Not, hold on. You know, you, you know, you gotta show proof, man. You know, people ain't. No, you have to. You gotta show them receipts, my guy. Yeah, show the receipts. I can't take. Man, I tried to take something back the other day, man. I lost the receipt for these earplugs. Uh huh. <laughs> you gotta keep them receipts. Yeah. They said, "Do you have the receipts?" The first time, I didn't have no the receipts. <clears throat> there you go, right there. Hold on, make you full screen. Now talk about that. That's the one, Jennifer Yakuyama who had just sent me this letter and I called up there. She was supposed to call me back and told the assistant wherever to take my number. And uh, like I said, we later said, let me call back up here since I hear them from her. She was no longer in this position. This was Federal Express sent. Federal I Express. It. I see it. All right. She's assistant general counsel of Nike. See that? Hmm. Man, stop playing with me. Anytime, anytime they want to sit down anywhere in front of, put it all on TV, on nine yards. Let's do this. And if I'm wrong, guess what? You'll never hear me. You'll never hear nothing out of me again. Yo, it's really sad, bro. The story's making me feel like it's fun. It's foul. It's real foul, man. No, it ain't just wait a minute. It ain't just foul. It's mind blowing. Yeah, it is. Cause the more I see all these little receipts you showing, the more I'm like, ah, man, this is ugly. This no, is really ugly. you you you're finding out, man. Look, I got people kin to me that I know, and sometimes you know, even when it look is that their headlines look like, oh wow. He so wait a minute. So Tinker Hatfield, wait a minute. The Jordan threes, the Jordan four five, the the windows. He, yep. It's crazy. How did that must eat you up once in a while, right? How I mean, you've been dealing living with this for a long time. A little over so, twenty years. Yeah, it's been it's eating you up, huh? It must eat you something up. About tw yeah, something about that 20 years of people will find out who's going through their little suits. Mm -hmm. They end up getting paid. Yeah. You know, you get the while you get tardy, like, look, man, we gotta do something. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and they won't say nothing because it'll come back to bite them. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the truth is it's it's out there, it's already global. People that contact me, the whole nine yards, pay the man. Yo, yeah. dude, that's, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? They don't know me, but a lot of them saying the same thing. Now, 
And somebody say, well, can you, you know, look, man, if I showed you letters and proof, I don't know what else to tell you. All no, you're you do showing a lot. You're showing a lot, brother. Call a company a lot, and man. ask about Basil Lewis. And if I'm wrong, where are they at? Man, you're Let's showing a lot, man. Come on. Let's see who comes on your show and try to justify it. Think I have to what even talked about, right? Yeah. Until I came out. Who were, who, nobody really heard Tinker Hatfield into the past few years. Hey, now anyone sees Tinker, ask him if they know about Basil Lewis, if he knows Basil Lewis and film Tinker's, it. Tinker's <laughs> bio. Tinker's <laughs> bio, right? On there, exclusive designer, 85. Same guy sent it. 87. There's no mention of the Air Revolution. Why is nobody talking about the Air Revolution? Air Max. Air Max, even in there. So then you will come back in the bio that the Jordan 3 helped save a, a relationship between Michael Jordan and Nike. How are you talking about the Jordan 3s and not the Air Revolution? It's the same shoe. Why? Because I started coming on the scene exposing what's really going on. So uh, my guy Jordan's in here. Thank you, brother, for the super chat. He says... Um, do you own any uh, Nike shoes? Shout out to my dude Jordan. Do you own Nikes? Yes, right. Hey, you own Jordans and Nikes. Hey Jordan. Right? Hey Jordan. If your neighbor steal your TV and ask you to come over with a bunch of guys to watch the basketball game, <laughs> you gonna go over there, sit down, get comfortable, get your drink on, whatever. <laughs> now nah, you gonna try to get that TV back. Yeah. And your boy's like, Hey Jordan, you know that's your TV, right? What you gonna do about it? What's well, cool, man? I'm just gonna sit here and watch it. No. Nah. Couple your boys be like, and I know this because of my relationship, right? Hey, bro, we don't get that TV back. We don't, we don't get in here. We don't get this TV back. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, you you, you know what I'm saying? That's like somebody steal your car and they ask you, do you need a ride home? Yeah, so you don't wear no Jordans, no uh, Nike, right? No. Nah. Yeah. Okay. So that was, that was a question I could have just got to, but. I want to get yeah. people to understand that, you know what I'm saying? Cause well, no, you're just people, giving, giving an example. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, right. You don't let nobody make a fool out of you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You walk around with their stuff like, hey, I got some Nike, and they make it money off of what you have to do. Mm -hmm. No, nah, man, you don't, don't, you don't never let nobody do you like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I can imagine, know. man. I don't think I could wear it either. If I was in your you, shoes, I really don't you think bet not. I'm going to let you have it. You bet not. I'm going to let you have it. Man, if you don't take them shoes off, man. <laughs> I ain't going to say. You know, I'm going to say illegal stuff. Like, no, no, hey, no. no. You're you going to pay somebody. <laughs> you're going to pay somebody. All right, baseball, you, well, you got to go. No, I'm kidding with you. <laughs> hey, All right, man. Have a good night. <laughs> no, nah, but hey, yo, man. Um, dude, man. You're on a block, there... right? Hey, look, wait a minute. You, you're on a block. You sell a guy dope. He owe you money for the dope, and you don't get him money, but he owe you money for the dope. Hey, Jordan, good day. I, that's all, it's all love, man. It's no, no, love. no. Jordan's, trust me, Jordan loves the shout outs, I'm sure. Yeah, hey, um, Jordan, peace to you, man. Yeah, yeah. Peace to all, peace all of y'all, for real. Um, let's see. Um, we have another question from Slim. Slim says, um, have other brands asked you to help them with their with their designs? New Balance, Adidas, and I'll add on to that. Have you ever thought about mm -hmm. um, reaching out to those brands throughout your life and sketching for a different brand, or or did this turn you off so much you're like f the footwear game? Yeah, it, it did. Then you know, I got some concepts that 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 I did, mm -hmm. and you know, just but it's funny that he asked that Slim asked that. I got a concept for New Balance mm. and um, for Kawhi Leonard. Nice. Yeah, I know they love. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, hot. you know, I just got to, I just got to, yeah, I just got to get some, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. yeah, I, cause I looked at what he got and when I, when I, when I came up with this, mm -hmm. that's what's up, man. Hey, um, check this out though. I wasn't really a sneaker designer. This was crazy. I was like designing clothes. I mean, like, like Nike. Also, I sent them was I got a jogging suits with the straps. That mm -hmm. stuff wasn't even out. I still got those original. You know what I'm saying? But um, the shoes is concept is what they mainly focused on, though. G Fish says, um, so the air bubble 
in uh, the basketball sneaker, right? So that's uh, Penny's, LeBron's, Barclays, Pippins, Griffey's, Bo Jackson's, etc. He says, God damn. He's, he's basically saying that that air bubble on basketball shoes, you know, all of these other shoes have that air bubble too, you know? Like, holy yeah, yeah. shit, that's, uh, that's amazing. Let's go outside yeah. of Nike. Yeah. See, and, and, and this thing is me and Tinker Hatfield would have teamed up together. Over. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, when they're doing a project, there's co-collaborators on the project. Right. They could have just cut you off with a little, even just a little credit, you know? Let Tinker be the one to get the main credit. But at least get your ass a little job in there and, and, and be able to help out with some sketching and, and, and give you a little yeah. credit. Sometimes you got to put that work in. G Fish, thank you too, man, for that super job. I appreciate you. Like, you know, they got to, they, they should, they should have, they, they could have done the right thing. If, if this is what you're saying, you're showing a lot of the receipts. So it's hard not to believe this shit when you're showing all these receipts. Um, it's, it's a shame, but hopefully. Everything gets ironed out in your favor, you know, because yeah, it ain't just one receipt. You got you a lot of receipts. You got you look like you got about eight or nine, brother. So you know, somebody, yeah. somebody like me to right now they say, "What are we gonna do?" And I who writes all, back and forth that many times? No corporation can write once or twice and say, "All right, the hell with him. I'm done talking to him." They ignore you. They're not gonna send eight, nine letters. That's crazy. When you remember Under Armour was suing um, Nike for a slogan? Uh, vaguely. What was the slogan? Do you remember? Uh, what was that slogan? I talked to one of the attorneys up there. And uh, he had wanted to work with me. So he had to go back and check with, you know, his um, circle. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to um, do it on contingency fee. With, you know, they don't get paid. To, they get paid. Like, it wasn't thing later on, like putting money to pay, whatever. Yeah. But you don't want to pay nobody no money, and then they bail out, you out. But the contingency mm -hmm. fee is they don't get paid till you get paid. But some of them want yes. money up front. He got back with me, like, hey. So he's trying to find somebody for me at the time, right? Mm -hmm. I thought the Quad Leonard's the attorney represent Quad Leonard. And uh, they was like, yeah, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's, you know, we get the, you know, I knew that was a done deal. He, there's a brilliant with the claw, but when you got word of mouth and you don't have, so when I got back, they said, we, we still trying to, I knew it was over with. Yeah. Uh, the guy with the jump, man, I taught his attorney's team. They had one me on, uh, the guy was suing for the jump man, uh, who took the picture, which he, he lost that case. So G fish put in here, um, Jennifer Yoko. Yama. Yama. Vice President, Deputy uh, General Counsel, and Chief IP Counsel, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft and Nike in her bio. That's what he posted right there. Okay. So that may help you out with something, you know, because that's probably who you need to get at, you know, with yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. situation. Yeah, uh, Because uh, I was um, trying to get the, the people, you know, when you, you build a Thank case. Thank you, G. Fish. Go yeah, ahead. Thanks, I, I man. Uh, you try to build a case. To find out where all these people at, you know, what I'm saying all through whatever, it's like man trying to find a ghost. Yeah, I can imagine. You know? But um, yeah. you know, your attorneys they need that kind of information, like you know, reaching out right, to right. someone like Jennifer. They that's why you're that's why they get paid because they have the the resources to get to these people. You know, right, right, so right. That's exactly. coming, um, and once again, shout out to G Fish. Um, Kill him on 42, my guy. Thank you, brother. He says, um, lately Puma has made great shoes. Would um would love your ideas too, like with the Puma. He would like to see you do Oh, some I got Puma. one. Oh, I got one for Puma. Each yeah. shoe that I got, you when you're dissecting and you're watching certain things that fit, I got this one I did for Puma. You know, I'm and um I reached out. But you know, uh, make sure everything's attacked first before you. We don't yeah, you gotta. Be, that again. You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> you know, you gotta be careful now. This shoe, I'm not. It's literally, I'm not saying it. This shoe is cold because I, I watched a lot of shoes how they done and um, man, get credit to some of these sneak, uh, sneaker designers out here. Like prime yeah. example, um, a lot of the custom made kids out there. What's yeah. sad is 
these companies look and see what they like. You know, you trolling. Mm-hmm. And that's how the thing about artistic, what is it people like marketing wise, right? And you see some bad, and I know some couple of them to customize because I got some McGrady's customized, the, uh, the All Star Adidas. Yeah. Then and, and they special edition. And you find out, you look at Jordan, some of them now, like the Zions, and all these colorful shoes. Who do they get it from? You sneakers, customized sneaker designers out they there. They take it from them. They That's taking funny. it. Yeah. Like, come on, man. If, if they that good to take their stuff, bring them in. That's what they, I've they, seen. I've seen a lot of customizers. They steal the ideas a few weeks yeah. few years later. I've seen that. I've seen it with a bunch of customizers. It's unbelievable. Um, one kid, yeah, one kid hit me up. He said, man, look what they done. They they took this from the Jordan, and he sent mm. samples. Yeah. I said, my man, you got to slow down. Get your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Protected. So you're out there, and, 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 and I've been there. You don't know no better. You freelance. I didn't know about a patent at 18, right? Of course. You're 18, and, and it was 1985, too. We got to keep that in mind. And thank God they wrote me. See, this is thing, too, about having proof. You know what I'm saying? Because there was an attorney when I ended up getting a, a job. I was registered up in Maryland Eastern Shore. Mm-hmm. So I got me a little part job at the Baltimore Convention Center. He telling the cars during the Christmas break. Yeah. And uh, this attorney, I didn't know. I, and I asked him, I said, is this all you do is sell cars? He's like, no, I'm an attorney. So I told him what happened. He's like, oh, did you have a patent? I said, what's that? You know, I'm 19 then. He said, well, man, he, you know, he kind of felt sorry for me. And I told him, I said, no, nah, they just wrote me. He mm-hmm. said, what? I said, yeah, they wrote me twice, 85 and 86. They wrote you? What did it say? I told him, you still got this letter? Yeah. They just gave you a case. Are you yeah. kidding me? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I went in my box. I went in the archives of the crate. Yeah, you, you know better, what I'm saying? Sheesh, you better put that you in know. the fireproof safe, brother. All I have with, hey, all I have with the mustache right here. It's the mustache. <laughs> Jeez. You know what I'm saying? It's the kind of mustache. It's unbelievable, bro. Yeah, I was, oh, hey, man, unbelievable. I was, I was recruited by two Division One schools off the street. It was uh, Merrill Neeson Shore and Tala Deacon off mm-hmm. the street. So I guess I had, I had a little bit of game, I guess you're going to call it. Yeah. You have such a wild story, man. Um, once again, give me give me your um information where people could get at you if they if they can help you or hey, you know, a lot of brands watch this channel, they may want to hit you up too. So give give a check out um go on YouTube and pull up stolen thoughts. Yeah. And yeah, and uh yeah, that stolen thoughts is his documentary that he put out on YouTube on his story. Stolen thoughts. Search for it on YouTube. Um, maybe if you, if it doesn't pop up, just write Basil Lewis stolen thoughts. And it'll definitely Basil, yeah, up. and Basil Lewis versus Knight, however you want to yeah, pull it yeah. up. I got a couple interviews that I did uh, mm-hmm. with a couple of sneaker shows I, I done. So you yeah. know it's it's starting to um you get people recognized first. Oh, of course. So whatever so whatever gets done on a perspective, I'd rather look at it now and see it that people know first. Mm-hmm. And if you sneaker here, you need to know the truth. Now this is you know this saying? is um this is unbelievable, bro. It's unbelievable this story. That's why as soon as um you DM me with that link to the to the documentary, so I gotta get this man on here. You know, we gotta talk. You know, there's another show hit me up too that want me to come on. I got the name of them. Yeah, but um uh, right at the, after you did. Uh huh. So that's funny one. shit. Yeah. I, dude, you gotta get go. You gotta get out there. You know, get on. But you know what, man? Uh, uh, everybody that I talked to, the few shows I did, even you, makes it fun, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like all the stuff, you know, it's some bull smack. Like, quit being cowards, really. Mm-hmm. Just let let's let the world know. Sit down. Bring it. Bring it. Bring your suitcase. Your, whatever you want to bring. Bring all your attorneys and let's do this. Let's sit at the round table. But other than that, it makes it fun that is on here, you know what I'm saying? We we can laugh, we can joke, we can talk about some history, some shoes, uh, the people calling in, their input, you know what I'm saying? They learning things that I'm talking about, and also I'm learning things from them, you know what I'm saying, facts. as far as the feedback. Facts. You know, and yeah, the facts. You know, so basically, you know, so it's it, it go it go hand in hand. Like mm. I love sneakers. I told you I'm coming back here 
Like I told last <laughs> brother, you better wear some armor, brother. <laughs> I'm coming to get him. You I'm better wear some armor if you come here on the bike. Hey, <laughs> hey, look. Once again, if you can get these, uh, hey man, I'm gonna have to say, hey, look, they got. Hold that on, that magazine may be worth some money right there. You don't even know what yeah. you're holding on to. They got the baby in here, dude. The baby with the shoe. Stop it, man. Come <laughs> on, man. The baby that, on the that shoes. Be, that may be worth some money, that piece right there. Yeah, man. This, this book is authentic, man. Look, I'm going to show you something that's going to bust your head. Right? Thank you, Flynn, for that, brother. So, the Jordans was back. They got Lawrence Taylor in here. I don't know if you remember Lawrence Taylor. Of course, the Giants. Come on. They got him. Yeah, they got him in here. They got uh. Remember now, these are a little higher then. See the top, a little higher. You remember these? The whole yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Now <clears throat> check these out. When last time you seen these boys here? Can you see them at the bottom? Oh wow! Yeah, them are throwbacks. Look how high them things are. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, and, and so the double ones strapped, on top too. right? Double strapped. Huh? They're double strapped. No. Actually, it's one strap going all oh, around. They, they saw how this looks like that. Oh, uh, okay. Right. So there was a pair. The Jordans at one time. They were high too, and mm. that's why I was looking for it here. And um, you got some legendary sneakers here that I I'm shocked that they didn't even they didn't bring out. You know, that's a trip. That that catalog, I'm telling you, you may be that catalog may be worth some money, brother. You may want to look into that. I'm worth some money, man. What are you talking I about? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, if everything comes out the way you want it, a lot movie, of money. you're going to be like love, this, man. Yeah. See, you come to North Carolina, you yeah. better take me out for a steak dinner and lobster, bro. I got you, man. Hey, I got a couple of y'all, man. I want to donate to the show and everything. Oh, See, a little man. Bit, a little bit higher right then, right? Look at that. What is it? What does the shoe say right there? Move your finger, That's your the, index finger. What is Air Jordan. What does it say? Oh, that, that's the KO. Those are the OG KOs. Yeah. Look at that on the yeah. catalog. When did you guys ever see that in the cat in that catalog? Yeah, those are the KOs. So they released th those in the '85, along with you know a bunch of other cars. Right, because there's a the smaller version of them. Yeah, right. yeah. You see, you've got the purple, the neutral gray. You got a bunch of them well, colorways there. And the baby shoe. Come on, man. Y'all sneak in that. for real. What y'all know about that for the babies? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hit that damn thumbs up button. Show that love for this channel, please. Man, I had a blast talking to you, bro. Hey, same I here, man. Fun, man. I, try, I try to make it fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's crazy. But I used to be like you, how you convince people. And that's why I like, what I got convinced by for? And I got you know, The thing is, look. If you notice, I'm telling a story, and I'm making you tell the story in the format I want you to tell the story. That's why I told you off off camera, I want you to have this first, that photo, and then we're going to get to this first. I got to make it like I'm the director directing you so you could really tell your story where people can understand it the best way they can. That's why I made sure you had all the paperwork organized, the the artwork first. The the You know what I mean? Yeah. I got to make everybody, sure. Everybody, paint. everybody paint. out there, I want y'all to feedback. Did he stop being biased a little while ago? Let me hear your feedback on this guy. Did he stop being biased a little while? <laughs> Listen, I try to be unbiased with these stories. I want, I want you to speak. I can't be having Nike come at me and shit for no lawsuit, man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, good luck. What? Hey, what are We're not messing with Basil. And yeah. No, they, ain't with you. they they want to stay far away from you. <laughs> Yo, you know what you are to them? You're crypt you're kryptonite, and they're Superman right there. <laughs> Come on, man! Hey, they got all these Gambino lawyers, all these commercials. Just do it, uh, uh, Gapper Nick with the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm one man. Like, 
you know, like um well listen, Basil, man, I really wish you the best, brother. You have a lot of proof, a lot of evidence, a lot of receipts, and I do wish you the best. And um, please keep in touch with me. And um I'm not like some of these other people you dealt with. I want you to come back when you have some new news on this, if you'd like to share it with us. Yeah, I got, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We got each other's math, you know, to keep in touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, know you, you know, We family you, now, you, man. We family now. We family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, keep in touch. And I hope it all works out for you, man. That'd be, that. Yeah. that's historic, you know? Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. And uh, it's, it, the, the, like I said, the first thing is, like I said, with all the other legal stuff, that's yeah. going to happen, whatever's supposed to happen. But far as people getting to know who, Your story who, who I am and what I did, that's, yeah. that's the most important thing that, you know, that needs to be to be told. Well, you got a lot more eyes now on your story than you did yesterday. So just continue grinding. Everyone share these videos. Share it. Let the world know about it. And, uh, man, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, you just snuck this me, man. That was an old man joke. You know what, what I'm saying? About? You, got, you got more than you had yesterday. Since we got social media. <laughs> <You're wrong. laughs> I'm saying you got more eyes for learning about it. I know, man. Yeah, I know, man. You know, we we in the future now. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, that was a good one, though. I'm oh, messing with you, man. And you just got to keep, with. yo, you got to keep just pushing. Just keep pushing, all right? I think things I'm are gonna work. I'm like a things. video game. I'm like a video game junkie to sneaker here. I don't know how to stop. Yeah, yeah. Now if they want to, if they want to stop, that's on them. Yeah, yeah. I hey, I'm beating. I'm beating brothers like you. Uh, other people's knowing. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You know no, I'm you're good. getting out there, brother. So you really are. You know, I did a search a little while ago before we did the interview. Oh and, yeah. Um, and I just wanted to brush up on everything from that documentary. And I seen you had a bunch of interviews now. So I was like, oh, good for him, man. You have a few yeah. interviews up there from last time I, when you slid me that, that documentary, which you guys need to check out. Once again, what's the documentary called? Stolen Thoughts. Stolen Thoughts. Search that on YouTube. Basil, thank you for coming through, my guy. Keep in touch with me, all right? I got you, brother. I got you, man. All right. You got me to stand anytime. Hit me up anytime, man. I I will, brother. You be easy, all right? You too, brother. Be blessed, all right? All right. Everybody else be blessed too. Yes, sir. Man, guy, the guy got great energy, right? Great energy, an amazing story, a, a, a sad, terrible, effed up story, right? 18 years old, makes the drawing, sends it to Nike. And then the thing that's so mind-boggling to me is the letters going back and forth, the back and forth letters, you know? It's like, man, that is like insane. How many times they wrote back to a kid? They knew he was a kid and they kept writing back and forth. Excuse me, I'm burping. Back and forth, back and forth. Unfreaking believable. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, leave it in the comments. Leave it in the chat. Uh, we had... A ton of super chats. I didn't want to interrupt him and hit you with a billion ultimate Delzes. And I, I it's gonna throw off the energy, man. But I, I try to at least answer the questions. Um, salute to Slim. He says, Thank you uh for welcoming with open arms to the channel. Appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, dude, man. I'm all about the community. You know that I am, right? Because you know now Nike is never sending me shit for free, right? Never happening. I'm done now. So, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, even if Nike sends me free product, they they it's in spurts. They'll send me stuff for like two, three months, and then they won't send nothing to me for like two, three years. So, like, is it really even that serious where I have to worry about that? No. And if they ever wanted to hire me for a job, then they're still going to hire me. Um, so it is what it is. But, man, you know that's the ultimate compliment. Thank you to Jordan. Thank you to uh, – there's so many people that sent Super Chats. Let me see who else did. I can only see so much. Thank you to Killama. Thank you to G Fish. Thank you to um, G Fish once again. Jordan, I'm pretty sure sent one. Um, yes, Jordan sent one, and I'm pretty sure someone else did, but I can't see any more. But um, guys, thank you so much, bro. You know that's the ultimate compliment, and it's ultimate Dell's effing time. Let's effing go.
Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is each and every one of you, for real. Thank you so much. And also, I got to shout out Ken. Um, my dude, Ken, man, he sent me um, a donation uh, yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to get to it. He says, for he says, salute, OG. Um, thank you, Ken, man. Appreciate you, bro. And um, yo, man, it is Tuesday. Let's turn up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Oh, uh, what shall I do? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good, the homie King Ken? Shout out to my dude Ken. I appreciate you, broski. Um, so um, let me know, guys. Uh, how do you feel about everything? Talk to me. We'll hang out. Is there anything you'd like to um? For me to speak about why you got me here too. Let's get that chat moving a little bit and we'll hang out a little longer. Um, Ali Frazier says, Great interview, Dells. I love it. Thank you, brother. That means a lot coming from you, man. Um, Jordan says, Dells, you a real one, homie. Uh, thank you, brother. Um, Basil is the people's champ. We in your corner over here, bro. Keep it, keep on fighting. Yes. Um for real, like you know, it's a it's a wild story, and I told you guys this is going to be a story that I, I didn't think much. Of. Did any of you know about this story? Let me know. Leave a comment if you or um something in the chat. Did you guys even know about this story? Because when I mentioned it during the week, I've been promoting it for a few days. Um, no one seems to know about this story, so that's that's a good thing. We're getting it out there more. Um, we'll see how it goes down, man. He says it's Monday, Dells. Oh shit, it's Monday today. Is it Monday? Damn, it's Monday. I guess so, man. Sheesh, I'm shot. <clears throat> yeah, Nas X is getting sued by Nike. Yes, um, for real. Nice. Listen, you can't have a sneaker that got blood in it and human blood in it and all this crazy stuff and, and, and on a Nike shoe and expect not to get sued. It's going to happen. Uh, she says, word, Dells, you were on your shit. No doubt. Shout out to Justine. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute, girl. It's good to see you in here. Love the content, Jonesy says. Um, what did you think of this interview, Graham? Did you check it out? Graham, I'm sorry. I got a little bit, um, you know, I, I don't know what, what came upon me. I'm, Jay, this is what came upon me, this damn thing over here. But, um, yeah, I hope I didn't insult um, your buddies yesterday. I, 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 I trimmed the video down a little bit. It, I got too crazy that yesterday. Um, but but it was a great interview yesterday. <laughs> Check that out. He says, Dells be time traveling. Oh, my goodness. He said, I heard about it back in 2019. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, Nas X, man. Well, Nas X ain't getting sued. Um, TMZ reported that who's getting sued is the company that made the shoes, right? Um, we did a video. We had a long stream on Friday. I think it was Friday. We actually had the chance to show you the shoes. Check it out. Shout out to my dude, Brian. Put them both side by side. I want to see I, what I don't, there might be some weird shit happening if I do that. Which one you guys like better? Let us know in the comments which one you like better. Beautiful. Thank you for showing these. Ah, oh, man. Rest in peace to my boy, Animal Joe Larnitis. Wearing his T-shirt. He gave me this T-shirt <clears throat> two years ago at WrestleCade, man. Um, man, rest in peace to, to Animal. I love this T-shirt because I got it from him, so it's special to me. Um, man, I love this right here. Check this girl out. This girl is so funny. I was laughing my ass off this morning off this. <clears throat> I'm built different. Oh, shit. <laughs> Follow her on the, on Snapchat. I, I, her thing is in there. Just go in and freeze frame that. If you, she's pretty funny. She's, I think she's Russian, by the way. 
So I, I checked her Snapchat. She has some other funny stuff, but um, some of the stuff is not in English, though, for sure. Yeah, rest in peace to Animal. <clears throat> let's see. Grinding today, listening. Let's see. Let's see. That was all good. Homies are cool with it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have came on. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but you know how I be getting once in a while. You know me well. Uh, <laughs> it's all good, though. I think it was pretty in informative. Um, Nike going to go after Mosh and Shoe Surgeon, too, then. Nah, I think the reason why they're kind of going at little Nas X is because of the fact that it's it's just um, a little little too crazy with the with the blood a one drop of human blood it says that's in it and all of that is it's a little much you know a little crazy right there so i think that's the whole situation when you got actual blood in the actual um air unit that's a little much you know and then you have bible verses with 666 and pentagrams and up down down crosses um and nike ain't having that nike ain't having that shit you know, the casual sneaker consumer is seeing this all over social media. They don't know about customs. They don't know about no mosh. They don't know about none of these guys, right? They just know about the swoosh. So they see the swoosh and they're like, oh, my God, Nike has lost their mind. We're boycotting Nike. So were, Nike was almost forced to, to do this lawsuit. If you think about it, they made a statement that this has nothing to do with them. People still weren't listening. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what the hell are they supposed to do, you know? So, got to be able to have freedom in art. I agree. I agree. But <clears throat> the thing is that it is, is like, I think the way that they're suing them is they're saying that the shoe has their branding on it. You know what I mean? So it's, um, it's throwing off the consumers. People are thinking it's their product, you know? Just, just the just the mis mischief people. That's what TMZ is saying. Um, I did a video on the Dell Show breaking it all down over at the Dell Show on YouTube. So go to the Dell Show and you could watch that video after we're done here. Everyone should be subscribed to my other YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash the Dell Show. Um, I don't think you can even click on this without putting... But yeah, that's the Dell show right there in the chat. Follow that. Every, as I said, everyone should follow the Dell show. And um, definitely hit the thumbs up button. Uh, we're about to get up out of here, I think, man. We just, um, I just wanted to really just vibe out for a second with you all. Um, thank you all for coming through. And um, if you have any like last minute questions, super chats, now's the time to send it or hold your, um, hold your ideas and your thoughts till tomorrow. I don't think we're going live in the morning unless something crazy goes on. There's some kind of breaking news or something like that. Then we may go live. I'm, I'm looking right now. Let's look at the calendar for, for Nike real quickly. Um, let's see. <coughs> oh, official images on the Raging Bulls. Check it out. We'll look at them real quick. April 10th, they release. I had no luck today on those damn sneakers, by the way. Those dunks, I had no luck at all. And this morning's stream was really funny, too. Make sure you watch all my videos. Watch them all. Let's see, upcoming releases. So, yeah, I struck out miserably on these dunks. And then this is what we got for the 30th. I'm not camming up tomorrow morning for the air structure OG. I'm good on that. Um, LeBron 6 on the 6th. Um, Friday, Saturday, there's a good chance I will not be streaming live. Uh, maybe Saturday night I will stream live. So Friday night may be the Saturday night vibe because um, I will be out of town for a couple of days. Um, but you just never know. So turn your notifications on. If I have some free time while I'm out, maybe I'll stream from the hotel that I'm staying at, all right? Um, and I may even go live on my Instagram because I'm going to be at some really cool spots, so we may go live. Um, that's my Instagram, Real DJ Dells. Follow my Instagram, and um, follow my Twitter, of course. And also, don't forget about my T-shirts. I've got some really dope T-shirts. I'd love for you guys to pick up a design or two and support what I do, you know? 
only $19.99. And, and that's just some of the designs. I have even more. So if you get a moment, go pick one up. Um, I'm sure some of you need a new T-shirt. So go get you one. And at the same time, you're supporting your boy Dells and everything that I do. All right. And also, I do got to mention these amazing cases. I love to promote them. They're so great. I wanted to show you guys my new setup real quickly, a sneak peek. We finally got the boxes in, and um, you see it's got this magnetic to keep it shut, which I love. I love these doors. These doors are dope. Versus, like, the old ones, this, like, the old school ones, not as dope. This is the move right here. I have it linked in the description, Pumps and Kicks. That's the brand, and it's linked in the description. Way better. So, yeah, if you're looking for them, I linked them in the chat, too. It's an Amazon link. You should get some. We got a super chat that came in from Sean. He says, is there a red colorway of those structures anyone know about? Um, let me check more on the site for you, broski. Maybe there's more here. Um <clears throat> It's not a bad colorway on those 35s. No, I don't see any red, bro. Um, if I click, I, yeah, I don't see anything. Are you guys excited about this release tomorrow? Maybe some of you are. Maybe I'm out of the loop with this. Um, but, yo, man, thank you for that super chat, Sean. I appreciate it, man. Let me hit you with that freaking ultimate Dells. Sean, DJ Dells, the sneak erratic. We appreciate you, Sean. Bong, bong. Let's roll. What's good is Sean showing that love to the channel. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you, man. Man? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, so guys, share this video. Um, if this if this was something you thought was special, this story, share it because it's going to help him, you know, this gentleman who um, has this pretty amazing story. So make sure you guys share it. Thumbs it up. We're a sneaker community. The community, we got to work as a community for things to get done, right? So share the video. And um, thank you all for watching, guys. Have a good night. Your boy Dells will be back tomorrow. Don't forget, hit me up if you have any ideas of anything you want me to speak about, all right? We out.